Grill Sergeant here. What's going on, Grill Billies? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are still going to be doing a beautiful ribeye. We're going to be doing a reverse sear. But what makes this video different today is not so much how we cook the meat, but where we get the meat from. Most people are lucky if they have a grocery store that's right down the street. As most of you know, we just moved to Texas and we're still in the unboxing process. And while we were unboxing, I found a grocery store inside my house. Let's check out this grocery store and let's start the show. All right, guys, you think I'm all fibbing with you, but watch, there is a grocery store in here, right? Come on in. All right, now you're gonna have to excuse the mess, but one thing you'll notice to the side of me here is there are a ton of boxes, but if you actually look closely up here, it says Omega Mart. Oh, 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 Omega Mart, you have no idea what's in store for you. Now, my son in his creative geniusness decided to take all these boxes and build himself a one-of-a-kind grocery store. Man, this thing has everything you need to get all your shopping done. Legit, it even has a front door in here. So I'm gonna go inside and let's go check this thing out. Come along. So here we are inside the Omega Mart, and this is insane. This is about 1,200 square feet of grocery shopping space. Without further ado, I'm gonna get my son in here, and he's gonna walk us around and show us all the aspects of this grocery store. I hear they have a pretty good meat section. All right, so now let's try to find the store owner, operator, and creator. So I, I think he's back over here, so let's go this way. Hey, are, are you Ezra? Yes, I am Hi. Ezra. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm actually new into town. My name's Grill Sergeant. Okay. And uh, apparently you're, you're in my house, but it's kind of cool. I, li I like it. Yeah. Uh, it is kind of convenient for me. So what gave you the inspiration to start an Omega Mart inside uh, my house? I like cardboard. You like cardboard? You were moving, so it was a perfect spot to build my shop. Is this your office? Yes, this oh, is my okay, office. Oh, okay, very cool. So. Uh, do you want to give us a tour of Omega Mart? Yes. Okay, so. Uh, these are the shelves. We got many products. Oh, who's we this got... guy over here? Oh, that's our, um, that's Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. What, Jimmy, what do you do here? He's, he, 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 collects, he, he money. collects money. All right, he's the money I'll collector. The heat stick, boy. There's a bunch of shelves. Don't go behind there. The fridge monster's there. The fridge monster? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, so here, here's our freezer. We got many products. We got fruits, okay. drinks, spatulas. You even got a, a plunger for, for a toilet back, so that's pretty handy. Okay, so... Uh, hey, uh, my name's actually not Jimmy. What is it? Urban Air. <laughs> Your name is Urban Air? Apparently, they're a little understaffed and they're a little crazy. Uh, do you have like a meat section? Like, yeah, show it's me where right the over at the freezer area. All right, let's go check yeah. out the meat. The meat is right over at this section. Okay, so this is like a... Uh, if you want to check this out, so here's an ice... This is an ice... You have the health code violations and all this stuff, but I mean, this the marbling on this thing actually. It's still here. cold, at least. Yeah, it is. It is still cold. So check out the marbling on that bad boy. It's nice, and the expiration date does say eight two. So the meat's still good. So yeah, I guess let's go ring up right now. So that's here's the a fifty dollar gift card. Fifty dollar gift card. So the cool it thing about being a an influencer is you get free hookups all the time. Hey, Omega I'm Mart. Be a nice okay. cashier and give you twenty dollars. Oh, twenty dollars cat. Okay. So guys, do check out Omega Mart. This place is awesome. So yeah, let me, I guess, ring me up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Miss, you know how to... <laughs> it's okay, hard. so that this, you it's have, hard, a, you have, it's hard. He, he's kind of, <laughs> he's kind of new here. He goes, he's a credit. What the crap is going on here? Okay. <laughs> and you are good. Let's go season this hey, up. Wait. What? Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go season this adult steak up. What the? <laughs> what the? Hey! Security! Security! So security, we got a problem here. <laughs> Thanks to the security guard, we were able to track down that crazy cashier named Urban Air. 
we were able to get this ribeye steak back. So I can't wait to cut this open and season it up. That's just, that's just next level. My friends over at Miner's Mix, they actually put together a Texas beef blend. It's not out on the market yet. They're still in the, uh, the testing stages. So without further ado, we are going to season this bad boy up. And what I like about Miner's Mix is their slogan is, if it didn't exist in 1850, it's basically we don't include it. And I'm like, oh, I like that a lot. Bro, if I can't pronounce these ingredients, because they have such a long scientific name to it, then probably not, probably not in my best interests. So I do want to make sure I'm patting the seasoning deep in. I do want all this to soak in. I am going to hit up these sides as well. So here's the game plan for this steak. We're going to fire up the competition series 1600. I'm going to put it to 225 degrees and we're going to be using mesquite pellets by Pit Boss. I really want that strong smoky goodness that mesquite delivers. We'll let it roll and smoke at 225 until it reaches about 100 degrees internal. If I start cranking up the temp when this is 100 degrees internal, by the time this hits about 115, then the sear feature will already be ready so I can immediately go from pulling the steak and opening up the sear plate and searing both sides and getting a really nice sear and crust on the steak because man, that is just, woo! So now what we're gonna do is we are going to fire up the smoker and then get this bad boy on. <clears throat> All right, smoker is up to temp. We are just going to put our beautiful ribeye down. I'm going to take the Inkbird IBBQ 4T. We're just going to put that in. Now we're just going to close down the hatch. Whip out the handy dandy cell phone. Now I'm going to get on the Inkbird app right now. I'm going to do a custom a value here. I want an alarm to go off when the internal temperature reaches 100. So I'm going to set that up. It's at 56 degrees right now. And so we're going to get an alarm when that stake reaches 100 and then we're gonna crank up the heat until it reaches an internal temperature of 115. And by that time, we can then use the sear feature. Woo! Can't wait. Oh. oh. I am getting a notification that that steak is now at 100 degrees. So it's time to turn the temperature of my smoker on. There is one issue. I'm enjoying an ice cold beer and I don't wanna go outside in 100 degree weather and whatnot. So just get on the app, baby. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go find my grill right here. Let's see, we are going to take our grill controls. Our smoker is at 225, not for long. I'm going to jack that up all from your phone. So now I'm just gonna kick back and just wait till that steak hits 115 degrees internal. All right, we are at 115. Woo wee! Let's open up this sear plate. Let's rip open that. Woo. Make that steak sweat a little bit. Woo. That good enough? All right. You always want to let your steak rest for about 10 minutes. Now it's time to carve in. Oh, baby, look at that. Yes, please. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Mmm. Yeah. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put a light, light dusting of this stuff on. All right, cheers. Definitely subscribe to him. So this experimental Texas Miner's Mix Rub. So I want to see this in production, man. Woo! Flavor was good. Thank you guys for watching. Gross Hardening out.